What's up guys, today we're going to be riding the Razor MX350 powered by the 5 amp hour Milwaukee batteries. So let's go ahead and get those on. Alright, just like that, we got them on. And as you can see, right over here, underneath this plastic, we have a voltmeter. So if we turn that on, we are at 100% and 41.4 volts so we're gonna take her up the road we're gonna do a speed test and just ride around for a little bit all right guys so i know you guys might not be able to hear me the whole time but that's all right This thing surprisingly does pretty well on hills. Oh, come on, you can make it. You can make it. Oh, we're struggling. It's full throttle. There we go. All right, guys, we are at our destination. Oh, I need to finish ripping that sticker off. But anyway, again, this is the MX350 run on the Milwaukee batteries. So we are gonna do a speed test run. We're gonna be driving from here all the way down to here. And I have a GPS on my phone and hopefully I'll throw that picture up right after the run. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, I just wanted to say one thing real quick. Make sure you always have some sort of helmet on or protective gear for your head, whether it be a bicycle helmet like this one, just because I'm riding the uh, 350, or it be a dirt bike helmet or a motorcycle helmet, anything, because it only takes one mistake, one slip up to end up in the hospital or worse, and nobody wants that. So don't think you're the cool guy. Don't think that it won't happen to you because it can happen to anybody, and it does happen all the time. But anyway, for the top speed run right now, we are at, still at 100%. These batteries hold so long. I freaking love this thing, dude. It's so much fun. All right, guys, as you saw, we just did top speed run. One speedometer said 21 miles per hour and the other one said 20. So we'll just uh, chalk it up to 20 mile an hour on flat ground. I know I've got it up to 25 downhill. Obviously, you know, that's downhill, but uh, yeah, she makes it up hills. Not, not fast, but she'll make it. And, uh, yeah, so I get probably, I'd say, a five to six mile range on it, uh, just depending on what, a, what you're riding on, what kind of terrain and hills and such. Um, overall, batteries last me a little over an hour, the five amp hour batteries, and then I'll just throw the two amp hours on to get me back home. But uh, other than that, this is an awesome little bike. If you guys have one that with dead batteries or whatever, and you have some spare Milwaukee batteries or DeWalt batteries or any sort of... Uh, power tool batteries so power from harbor freight then you can do this rather cheap and like i said this is a stock motor mx500 controller with the two milwaukee batteries wired in series 
as well as the MX500 throttle. So don't even have an upgraded throttle on this really, just a different MX throttle. And yeah, super fun. In the next video, I'm hoping to have a uh, video on my MX500 that's actually running a 2000 watt Vever kit, uh, 48 volt with two orange batteries. So super excited to do a video on that. If you guys like the video, make sure you like, leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. All right guys, I forgot about this super cool spot. So I wanna hit it real quick. And again, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.